Okay, let's do a little demo of our flipped classroom. So we're going to build our code here. Get our uh, emulator running. And then uh, without changing anything, we're just going to hit query. And we're going to get a long list. And you can tell it's long because when you start scrolling, that little uh, scroll bar shows you how much you scrolled, which is not a lot. You can click on these items. They tend to send implicit intents. That's not super important for us for this lab. But you can see that this returns you a big list of um, uh, restaurants. OK, there's nothing interesting in the log yet. But we are, first thing we're going to do, no, we're not going to choose an order. We are going to. We're not going to choose a city. We're going to choose a limit. So we're going to limit that to 10. Query. It doesn't look like things have changed. But they have changed because now we only have 10 uh, items returned, which is much smaller. And uh, if we up this to 20, uh, query, we have more items. And if we take a look, here in our thread, do we have anything interesting? Render thread, no. Hmm, thought I logged something in here. No, not, not the limit, okay. So we saw how to do uh, limits. Um, let's see, if I... What's the first thing I ask you to do? Um, ask you to do the limit and yep, that's good. Um, well, maybe I'll do price. So if we order by price, sending query, that changes things a little bit. Um, but you know, you know what I, I guess I really need to do, let's do burgers. Um, yeah, so finally, and I think, I, I can't remember whether this is in your code or this is just something that is valuable to print out. So once we chose burgers, which is the restaurant type, and, uh, we did a query, you can see the where string. So where business is dot underscore ID equals categories dot underscore ID and categories dot categories underscore name equals question mark. And you might say equals question mark. And this is this whole thing with what's in the where clause and what's in the args clause. So anytime you want to put something in the where clause, you always uh, have to do this parameter where you give it a question mark. And then that gets filled in in the args. And there's, we give you an example of this in the code. Okay, so, all right, just to fill it in, so let's choose, uh, no, yeah, let's choose Austin. So, query, and here we go, Every, everybody's in Austin. Um, and is there anything interesting here? Yeah, so here is, here's the where clause. Oh, did I, did I print out that? The R, so yeah, here's the R, sorry. This is the question mark, and then here's the, what is the question mark filled in with? It's filled in with burgers. So down here, same thing. Uh, Business.city equals question mark, Austin, and da -da -da, no parameters there, and category name equals question mark, burgers. Okay, this is the where string, this is the org string. Uh, you plug one into the other, and away you go. So that hopefully will be um, pretty good. I mean, one thing to mention is uh, price is uh, measured in number of dollar signs. Oh, so let's see, order by price uh, descending. So now the, the best you can do for burgers is two dollar signs, but uh, I don't know. What's well, Japanese, maybe? Yeah, there we go. We got four dollar signs for Uchiko. Love it. Okay. Uh, so this should be, this should be fairly straightforward. It's just translating these uh, SQL, kind of constructing these SQL queries in uh, Android. 
Okay, and then the, the, the only other thing I wanted to show you is a little bit of this um, tool. Alright, and this tool is a... This tool is a command line way you can uh, interact with the database. So it's called SQLite 3. And uh, I copied this restaurants.database file out of the assets directory. So, you know, you can do a find for it. You can find it in there. Or you can just connect to it uh, directly. I just, you know, if you, you don't want to um, corrupt it. So if you type help, you get a whole bunch of uh, commands. You can sort of take a look at them. The, the ones I wanted to uh, draw your attention to is if you do dot table, you can see these are the names of these tables and if you do dot schema oh gosh you know this is pretty interesting this tells you uh, the table and it tells you that uh, underscore id is an integer which is the primary key and the name blah 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 okay so you got that if we do headers on and we do dot mode column then we do select star from businesses limit four. Oop, semicolon, gotta, gotta remember the semicolon. You can take a look at, uh, you know, what we got. Um, here, let's just, let's just, uh, let's like name. Okay, so there's, you know, you can directly write your SQL queries in here to sort of practice and make sure that you're doing it correctly. Um, let's see. Uh, from hours, is that hours? Uh, uh, it shouldn't work. I'm reading this from something I have written here, but that, yeah, there's, there's no such table there. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, so those are all the categories um, whose ID equals one. That's a little puzzling, isn't it? Um, five. Ah, semicolon. Um, well, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, redundancy there that I don't I don't fully understand. But okay, so uh, SQLite uh, 3 is this command line utility which lets you do your practice your practice your selects um, your select statements. Okay, good luck.